There's one beacon of hope, at least for small business owners, there is a, a sense of renewed funding for the Paycheck Protection Program. Jennifer Bellamy has the story of one store owner who is holding out hope that she could get part of that fund. For Laura Saunders, it's business from a distance. She owns Inman Park Pet Works, and like many other small businesses, the coronavirus pandemic has taken a major bite out of her operations. We are on average about 50% down in sales. She sells assorted pet food and supplies and offers spa services for her four-legged clientele, but most of that has been kicked to the curb, literally. Saunders is one of the over 30 million small businesses that help power the U.S. economy. Unfortunately, they can also be the most vulnerable during an economic downturn, which is why the Paycheck Protection Program is so coveted. It can provide much needed financial relief, except for Saunders, that relief seems like a far off dream. I did it online. Um, I, I got all the necessary documents that they needed. They reviewed that and then they went to the next step and unfortunately all the funds were already depleted. The nearly $350 billion worth of initial emergency relief funds ran out in a matter of two weeks. Some of it snapped up by publicly traded companies and many small business owners felt they were at an unfair disadvantage. It's kind of a first come first serve thing. Eric Wilson is vice president at Citizens Trust Bank, one of the oldest and largest black owned banks in the nation. You've got five employees and you're ahead of somebody that has, you know, 250, we're going to process that in the, in the order that it comes. Wilson says when it comes to the Paycheck Protection Program, time is of the essence, and working with a bank that knows you can make all the difference. Even before we knew how we were going to process our applications, we kind of reached out to, you know, some of the people that have been loyal customers to us, and we said, hey, this is coming down the pipe. You know, you got you might want to get your ducks in a row. Round two of the payment protection program kicked off earlier this week, and Saunders wonders if she'll strike pay dirt this time around. I don't know where in the queue I am. I mean, there could be a million applications ahead of me, and it'll deplete what was funded. Saunders says it's a waiting game, and fiscally speaking, time is not on her side. Fortunately, the landlord is helping us out with the rent here, so that's giving us a bit of a break. But you know, and it, it, I just have to rely on some of my personal savings account to keep our staff on and to keep the doors open.